Bowl and we are at Tipola Bay Golf Center on the putting green. Uh, you might hear some noise in the background. They have the chainsaws going, cutting down a lot of trees after Hurricane Matthew. 172 trees down at Tupelo Bay. Um, the greenkeeper is going to have his work cut out for the next week. Um, so the golf course is closed, but the practice range is open if you want to come and practice. A lesson, uh, if you want a school, that is all in operation. Today is Tuesday, and as you know, Tuesday is Training A Tuesday, and I talk about what I think which training aid would help your game the most. We've covered quite a few, this is now number five, and uh, in previous uh, episodes, I've spoken about the putting mirror and for those of you that have taken golf schools with me lessons with me you'll know I'm a big proponent of the putting mirror and 15 of the top 20 players in the world currently use the putting mirror in their game in their practice Rory McIlroy, Ricky Fowler, Bubba Watson they never go out on the golf course without spending five ten minutes with the putting mirror because it ensures that they're getting in the right position and for those of you that have had lessons, you know that what I teach, or what I used to teach, is that my the eye should be directly over the ball. So there's a black line on the mirror, and I have to get my eyes right on that black line, and then my eyes are directly over the ball, right there. But I watched a recent video, and I heard about this thing called the parallax error. And it was very, very interesting to me, and as I watched it, it made a lot of sense. Because I watch some players on the PGA Tour who don't have their eyes directly over the ball. Some have a little bit inside, some have a little bit outside. And I'm going to put a link to the website of Eyeline Golf, and you can watch further videos on this. But the parallax error basically is that we, all our eyes are different and we see slightly differently. So what this is, there's a, there's a mat here with a red line going down the middle and then there's a mirror with a white line running up the middle. It has a digital level, a level here, and it also has a level at the back of the mirror. You have to make sure you test that everything is nice and level. And now the goal here is that when you get down and you look down this red line, if I have my eyes a little bit too far over the ball, I can see a reflection of the red line going off to the right. If I move my eyes in here, I can see a reflection of the red line going to the left. If I move my eyes directly over the ball, I cannot see the red line in the mirror. This the white line going up the middle is hiding the red line going up. That is the correct posture for me personally, is to get it right there, my eyes are directed. So as soon as I cannot see the red line, if I move my putter away, my eyes are bang right on that black line. So that's the perfect putting posture for me. Now, I've done tests, I've been using this for about a month. I've used it on my students. Some people test their eyes a little bit over that black line when the red line disappears. Some have the eyes on the inside before the red line disappears. So everybody is different. But what it guarantees is now you're aiming, literally like aiming a rifle. You're very, very accurate with your alignment. And now, once you know whether your eyes are inside, over, or outside, you can now take this stuff away and now by just using the putting mirror, I know for me my eyes have got to be directly over the ball. So when I practice, when my eyes are over the ball, I can now practice my putting strength. For those of you that, you know, uh, you get your eyes a little bit over the ball before you practice, and some of you inside before you practice. I'm going to leave a link, as I said, at the bottom of this video. Currently, do not have this on my website, so go to Alan Golf. I think this is a training aid that will help every single golfer on the planet. Try it.